Hi again, this is George from Donzon.com, and um, in this lesson on the Japanese word processor, JWP, um, I want to look at some, some of the kana that have compound sounds. Now, I showed you um, a, e, u, e, and o before, and then the next uh, the next uh, series is ka, ki, ku, ke, and ko, and and they're like I said they're forty some different uh, symbols for <coughs> for the um, for the syllables. So let's look at the ones that start with s. So here's sa, she, s h i, she. We saw that in some earlier videos. Sa, she, su, se, and so. Okay. Now. Uh, you might ask the question, well, gee, why is uh, these is, is sa and su and se and so, why is this one she and not si? Well, that's the way, that's the way they, they pronounce it. Um, uh, I don't know a good reason why, but, uh, but that's, that's just the way it is. So sa, she, su, se, so. And uh, in a similar similar to that, there's <clears throat> the ones that start with with T, ta. Then the next one would you think would be T? No, actually, it's chi, C H I. So cha ta. So that's ta, chi, and then is the next one tu? No, it's actually tsu, T S U, T S U. Ta chi tsu te and to. Okay. And I always remember to because it looks like there's a a, a, a thorn stuck in my toe. You know, like Andronic Andronic uh, the lion uh, had a had a thorn and stuck in his in his paw. So that's how I always remember that one. Okay. Anyway, that's enough silliness there. So that's uh, that's sa, chi, su, se, so, ta, chi, tu, te, and to. Now, uh, and we could go through all all forty some of these uh, at another time, but uh, I want to look at one particular of those, and that's this that's this one, chi, chi, s h i, chi. Now, if you wanted to say um, the sound shoe, not she, but shoe, uh, S H U. Let me do that in in, um, in ASCII here. S H U. Okay, go back into kanji mode. Well, what do you get when you when you type S H U into J W P? You get S H U. Now, look at this. We have the she character, and then we have another another character right here, another kana right here, that uh, kind of looks like an eyeball, like a cat's eye almost. Um, but we um, have the she with this one. This one right here, let's space over a little bit, is the is the hiragana for uh, y u u? Okay, that's if you were if you wanted to say u, uh, that is how you would write it y u, and you would write it this way, like a like a almost like a cat's eye. Um, so notice when they write shoe. They write she 
with a little u down below it like that. So this is a compound sound using the letter or the uh, the hiragana she plus u. Okay, let's look at another example of that. If we wanted sha, how would we how would we picture that? Well, we go s h a or s h a, excuse me, s h a, and we get the she with this little character here, which you might guess is ya, y a, ya. So she plus ya gives us sha. Okay? Now, another character is this one, and I'm going to type this out first. I'm going to first type the uh, uh, this character first, yo. And we saw that one before when we were doing um, um, uh, yon for four. Yon means four. But if we type show, S H O, notice we get a she plus a yo. So shio, shio, sho. And that character there, um, actually sho means, uh, means a lot of things. One of the things it means, let's, let's do our, our F2 here. Um, there is the sho, which means beginning. Uh, for martial artists, uh, shodan, that, that's the first black belt. Uh, and uh, and some other some other things there, but uh, show okay show so these are compound uh, kana to make up other kinds of sounds. Now you could, if we if we go back to our, our K sounds, uh, if we go kya, there's kya, so it's ki plus ya. Kyo, q, we can get we can get those sounds as well, and uh, we'll see some of those words as we go along. Uh, pop up. Okay? So that's uh, that's a short lesson on compound kanas.